Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video tutorial, we are going to learn about reading access DB files in C sharp. So let's start. First, I will go to this toolbox and drag in a button and a text box. So first, I will drag in a button and uh, then I will go again and uh, uh, now I will drag in a text box. Now, I'll place them and I will expand this and now I'll put it this button here now we'll change the text on this button to browse and uh, now I'll go here and uh, name this button uh, browse btn and uh, now I'll click on this text box and now I'll change its name to uh, path path text box and now I'll double click on this button and now uh, I will use uh, open file dialog file dialog equals new uh, open file dialog and now I'll put semicolon and then I'll use f um, file dialog dot show dialog equals uh, dialog result dot okay then do what then um, text box path text box dot text is equal to uh, file dialog dot uh, file name semicolon now we have the path of the file now I want to get the name of the file so for that I will use string and uh, uh, name equals and um, here I will use uh, uh, file uh, file dialog dot save file name semicolon it is I will use name file now it will get us the name of the file now I want to uh, divide this file name into uh, actu the actual name and the extension of the file so for that let's first uh, show this and uh, let's see this show message box dot show uh, name file and now I'll put semicolon and now if I run this application now the application is running so if I click on this browse and go to this uh, USB drive and uh, search here for uh, this is z1.accdb xsdb file and click open now you can see that it uh, has printed here z one dot a xsdb so i want to uh, divide this name by this dot so xsdb will be uh, placed in one uh, variable and this z one in another one so for that i will close this close this and uh, i'll come here and here i'll use uh, a string array string and um, array and, uh, and now I will use name equal uh, names equal and I will use a uh, name file dot split and now I'll use dot and now I'll use semicolon now it is showing error so i will place the inside single dots so 
it will stop showing error now at uh, name so I'll declare another variable string name one equals um, names and I'll take here zero index and now if I uh, uh, show this in a message box you will see that only z1 will print and uh, here I'll pass in name one so we do not need the extension so that is why I'm printing only this name one and uh, now if I run this and now if I browse this and if I select uh, this z1.xsdv file and click open you will see that only z1 is printed so we got the name now we will write a method or a function for uh, this uh, reading access db file so uh, I will use public wide read db and then I'll use uh, curly braces now we have declared it at the wrong place so I'll go here, remove this from here, exit, and uh, now I'll place it here, and now it is okay. Now, here first we will uh, get the path and the connection string for this uh, access DB file, but for that we have we need a um, a library called OLEDB but first I will uh, declare the connection string so string con string equals uh, double quotes provider equals uh, micro soft dot a c e dot o l e d b dot one two dot zero then semicolon and then data source equals and here I'll use file path and we're gonna pass this file path and uh, path uh, into this uh, DB so I'll use string uh, name and uh, string small string file path and now this file path we're gonna pass from here so uh, a path text box that text is not equal to empty then do what then pass in um, into this uh, read access db method name one name one and uh, the path text box dot text which is the path of the file so I'll put semicolon here now we will go down to our uh, method and here now I'll declare another string variable string and this is a uh, query so query equals uh, 
select static from and here I'll pass in plus uh, name which is the name of the table as well as the xsdb file now this is passed in now we will use uh, oledb connection oledb connection connection equals new oledb connection and semicolon now i'll click on this and uh, i'll click on this uh, and now i'll click on this to install this now this d is capital so i'll use d b connection and now i'll pass in in here connection stick string so connection string now this will make the connection to to the access database and now we will use uh, oledb command to execute the query so oledb command command equal to new oledb command and here i'll pass in uh, query as well as the connection so connect and now i'll put semicolon here now i'll uh, uh, connect dot open so it will open the connection and now i'll use oledb b reader data reader data reader reader equals um command dot execute reader and here i will put in parentheses now i'll declare in a data table data table uh, data table equals new data table and now i'll load uh, this reader data table dot load reader and now i'll put semicolon here now we will go to design and add in a um, grid view so i'll come to toolbox and uh, take in a data grid view and drag it here and now i'll expand it on each side control z yes and and i'll go to design and drag in again this uh, data grid view so i'll search it here data grid view and now i'll click on this and i'll drag it to this side and now i'll drag it down and also to the top and then again i will drag it down and i'll close this and i will attach this to the bottom so now it's okay now we will go to farm1.cs now here i will use uh, data grid v1 dot data source equal to um data table dot default view and i'll put semicolon now everything is ready so let's run this application and let's check this now if i run this now the application is running so i'll go here and uh, search for the file so this is z1 dot 
xsdb file so i will open it okay we have shown this previously now it will take some time because we have uh, two leg records in this so now it has read all the records and shown it here so that's all for today i hope you like the video if you like the video please like subscribe and comment and the code of this video will be available in this uh, either in the comments or in the description of the video thank you